How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Chemo 365. So tonight we're continuing our testing on 22 long rifle ammunition, but tonight's question is, can bulk ammo like this, which is really cost efficient, compete with target ammo like this? Is it worth paying more for this, or can you get good results while using stuff like this? Let's have a look. Before getting into the results, I just wanted a chance to annotate in this video parts one and part two right over here. So you should see those cars there if you want to catch up. Let me go over how I tested the 22 LR ammunition. So we shot 50 rounds of each brand. I shot 25 rounds, let the barrel cool off for around 10 minutes, then rest of the 25 rounds, and then I let it cool off, and then I ran a bore whip through it to make sure it was, you know, pretty decently clean. I was around five feet away from the chronograph, and I shot everything on the same day, so the weather conditions were the same as part one and part two. It was like 62 degrees, two mile an hour wind. If you look at how high Sloan is above sea level, it's about 2,900 feet above sea level. So if you want to geek out, that's all of that information. Now, let's get into the results. All right, here are the five types of bulk ammunition I tested. We got two Remingtons, the Thunderbolt and the Golden Bullet. We're going to see that it comes in a lot of different capacities. Federal, I got two. We got the 550 value pack and the auto match here, which is 325 rounds, and the Winchester 333, which is a Ratha there. Let's go over these numbers. The mean, of course, you take a sum total of all the 50 readings and you divide it by 50 because we shot 50 rounds. In this case, we got 315.16. Extreme spread, really easy. That's the highest and the lowest reading subtracted from each other, 74. Standard deviation, this is the important number. The lower that number, the better, because what this is telling us is if 13 15.16 is the mean it can be 15.52 higher or lower than that number so the closer and tighter we can stay around that average the better so this guy's gonna be real honest with you right now is the winner at 15.52 and that right there we're gonna see is a really important number cost wise $18 for the 333 round box and you can get them in 555 rounds as well let's look at the rest of the results all right coming in in second place we have Federal Automats, this guy right to here. So the mean 1194.14, extreme spread 140, standard deviation 23.61, cost is around $15 for about 325 rounds. I've seen these as cheap as $12 on PSA uh, website with free shipping. So if you want to get one of these guys, it's really good. And that's not that bad. We'll pay attention to that number. Uh, next, what do we got here? The Federal 550, this guy right here. So the mean, 1243.38, extreme spread, 154, standard deviation, 26.62. And the cost is around $19 to $20 for a 550 round box. And that leaves just the two Remingtons. So the first Remington up will be the Remington Gold Bullet, 1252.12. That's these guys right here. Uh, extreme spread 126 standard deviation is 27.62 that only costs about eight dollars for a hundred now this is available in a 525 pack like that it looks very similar but it doesn't have all the crazy 22 thunderbolt stuff on it and a bucket like the bullet little bucket so it's like 1400 rounds in it so that was 27.62 which we're going to see is still not horrible and that's going to leave the Thunderbolt, which is last, which everybody loves getting in this because of that name and the packaging. Uh, mean, 1231.40, extreme spread 130, standard deviation 3172, and it's around $21 for 500 rounds. So that was in last place. Now, let's see. I'm going to bring back this Winchester 15.52. Like I said in the last video, part two. I think that one of these, that was my prediction, one of these in here would be as good as some of that target competition stuff. Let's have a look. All right, flashback to part one here. I just want to refresh everybody's memory. So part one, Ellie Black, right? The match is $20 for 50 rounds. That was the winner with 11.95 as a standard deviation. Okay, so that's really good. Now, here's the thing I wanted to find out. And we got CCI Green Tag and the regular CCI Mini Mags. Have a look at what's going on here. So the green tag is on this side. Standard deviation, 14.78. The regular mini mags are 20.47. 
that right there is really close when you have a look at it, right? Remember, 15.52, it beats the standard mini mags and gets really close to the green tag. So the value right now is looking really good for the Winchester. And guess what? This beat out a lot of the match ammunition. It totally buried the normal match, right? The normal match was 28.59. And that's this guy right here. The normal match is, looks like this. And it also just totally buried the Gila target comp, which was 30.48. That's that guy. And if you remember, 30.48, a lot of what we just tested, 27.62. That's the Remington Gold Bullet. And then next over here, you got the Federal 550. That's 26.62. Most of these, 23.61 for Federal Auto Match. The only one that it really didn't beat was the Remington Thunderbolt at 31.72. So a lot of the bulk ammunition did a lot better than the stuff that's packaged in 50 round boxes. So what is a simple answer that I'm coming up with? If you're really persistent and do a lot of testing, you can find great deals for ammo like this that have a low standard deviation that are gonna give you a more consistent velocity. So as a summary, here we go. The Winchester 333, that guy right there with the standard deviation of 15.52. It beat the Aguila Target Comp 1604. That's this box right here. That's out of here. What did it beat next? The CCM Mini Mags. 20.47 that's just regular standard plinking stuff right there target plinking this guy out of here normal match totally dominated 28.59 the normal match looks like that out of here and then last up bringing the rear is the Aguila target comp at 30.48 that's this guy so really good value with the Winchester 333 all right, now bringing this thing full circle, I just wanted to demonstrate that this bulk stuff can be as good as some of this stuff wrapped up in this fancy 50 round packaging with fancy terms like match 22. And here's the Aguila that says rifle match competition, right? So here we go, Federal Auto Match. Let me get this in frame here. The Auto Match, which is this white box right here, right? 23.61, 28.59, that's the normal match stuff here. And then this guy was like 30 whatever. I'm just going to leave it like this so you guys can see it. 30.48 and 28.59. Guess what? There's more. The Federal 550 value pack. This thing that people think is absolute garbage. Standard deviation 26.62. Still lower than these two right here. And then bringing up the rear over here is the Remington Go Bullet. The one that you can buy in the bucket or bullet box, right? 27.62. Still lower than these two. So lesson learned, just because it's packaged in separate little boxes of 50 and they use fancy language, it doesn't mean that it's going to be better than some of this bulk stuff. Well, all right, guys, that's the ending of part three and my testing of 22 long rifle ammunition. But I'll tell you guys what, if these videos do really well, I'll keep testing them. But for now, this is the end. So what are we taking away? Just because a box is packaged like this in rounds of 50 and has fancy language on it, doesn't mean that this is going to be any better than something packaged like bulk ammo, like this Winchester 333. All right, guys, that's the ending of the video. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.